ultimately, the culture's highest value is tolerance and the Bible's highest value is repentance. And that those two values at some point collide and one says, you are fine the way you are and the other says, you need to change. And those are antithetical. And, and the truth is that Jesus is tolerant and that you come as you are, whatever you've done, but he invites you and commands you to repentance, a change of mind, change of heart, change of lifestyle and identity and, and all of the implications of that. And, and so, you know, Christianity, particularly Protestantism, it, it's, it's about repentance. I mean, you know, Martin Luther's 95 theses nailed on the Wittenberg door, uh, the first one, was uh, all of a Christian's life is one of repentance. That the Christianity it really is. It's rises continual process. or falls yeah. with repentance. You know, Peter gets up to preach and Christianity explodes and is born and the Holy Spirit blesses because he commands people to repent. Mm -hmm. If we don't repent, um, we're hypocrites. Yeah. If we don't call other people to repent, and by the we're way, heretics. that doesn't mean it's a final one-time repentance. Right, because it's a we're lifestyle. Oh, it's man, a lifestyle. I sinned yesterday. Exactly. I got sin I haven't even gotten to. I hope we're done soon. I, <laughs> I need to get to it. You know, I mean, it's a it's a lifestyle, you know, where you realize your sin. And the closer you get to Jesus, the more you realize how sinful you are. You know, as I grow in my Christian faith, I know how sinful I am more than I did even last year.